I'm Brian Tracy and welcome to The Brian Tracy Show. We have today with us Dr. Edward Paul, who is one of the most fascinating experts in an area that is important to you and me and every single person who walks or breathes on this earth. Thank you, Dr. Edward Paul, for being here. It's good now, to see you again. Now tell us exactly what do you do? Well, I'm an eye doctor with a specialty in macular degeneration and low vision. And basically, over the past 25 years, we've been able to help thousands of patients from all over the world who were told that nothing else could be done for their vision. We've been able to improve their eyesight and in many cases allow them to not only maintain but also to regain independence. Wow, because I have a very good friend, a successful business person, who had exactly that problem. And he was told that he was basically going to lose his eyesight and he would have to have Coke bottle bottom glasses just to read big type. Exactly, and what many people don't realize until it hits them personally or hits a family member is that macular degeneration is the leading cause of blindness in the United States. Most of us have heard about cataracts and glaucoma, but until macular degeneration strikes us personally or strikes a family member, it's something that we're unaware of. Fifteen million Americans have macular degeneration, and again, leading cause of blindness. Wow, because my friend got the kind of services that you offer and now he sees very well, reads fluently, has no problems with his eyes at all. It's like a miracle. Well, it really does change a person's life. And one of the frustrations that I hear from patients is that many times their very well-meaning family eye doctor has given them the diagnosis of macular degeneration and told them that there's nothing else that can be done. Yes. And that's really not true because there are new innovations with special lenses, with nutritional supplements, and with medications where we can manage this disease very, very appropriately. And again, in many cases, give a patient vision back that they had previously thought would never be regained. So that's how you achieve this goal of giving people their vision back is with nutrition and exercises and, and anything else? Well, actually talking about nutrition, there's a new nutritional supplement that's just been launched. I was fortunate enough to be one of the developers on that team. Right. This is a new prescription vitamin, very much like prescription prenatal vitamins that has been shown that in 77% of patients with macular degeneration, we can completely stabilize and arrest the disease. And in 56% of patients over a three to six month period, they'll regain one or two lines of vision. So if we did nothing else but put the patient on this prescription vitamin, it's called wow. Tozal, T-O-Z-A-L, right we could arrest 70 to 80 percent of the cases of macular degeneration. Wow. Now, how did you get started in this, Dr. Paul? Well, I've been practicing optometry for 25 years. Uh, about 20 years ago, my grandfather was a patient and had macular degeneration, and it was very difficult for me to deal with the fact that I could not do anything for him 20 years ago. Right. And so it started me on a quest. It started me on a journey to try to find out what could be done for patients with macular degeneration. I actually went back to school after optometry school and got a PhD in nutrition and started looking at nutritional supplements and how can we from a preventive standpoint prevent the disease and also treat it after the fact. Wow. And so about five years ago, we completed a landmark study. Again, we were fortunate enough to get this uh, medication or this vitamin now as a prescription. And uh, it's just been a journey on me trying to, first of all, uh, accomplish something for a family member. And we've been able to parlay that into, again, helping people from all over the world. And we have patients that fly into our small clinic in Wilmington, North Carolina, right. from places as far away as South Africa. Wow. Wow. Now, uh, can you give me one success story that you can recall uh, of someone who maybe have given up and then they found you and they came to you? Yes. Uh, actually, it's the South African story. Macular degeneration is primarily a disease, as you know, um, of age-related uh, disorders. And right. so most of the patients who come to see me are 60, or 70, or 80. Right. But there's a rare form of macular degeneration called juvenile macular degeneration, also known as Stargardt's disease. Right. And about three years ago, I had a young man, uh, nine years old, uh, whose parents brought him over from Cape Town, South Africa. Wow. And he had been diagnosed with this disease. And again, the very well-meaning family eye doctor in South Africa had told the family uh, that the child needed to go to the school for the blind and learn Braille. Wow. Um, through a combination of nutritional supplements and special glasses, uh, we were able to rehabilitate this young man's vision. Right. He's now in school. He's playing cricket. He's playing rugby. He's living a very full life. Oh, wow. 
Wow, it's almost that's life saving, isn't it? Well, it makes getting up every morning and going to work a big pleasure. Oh, that's that's amazing. That's amazing. Now, tell me, uh, what advice would you give to someone who has eye problems, possibly macular degeneration, or something else who's watching us today? The first thing I would do is to tell them not to give up hope. Something can always be done. And so a good attitude is going to take them far. The second thing I would tell them to do is to consult with their doctor and find out what's the best nutritional supplement for them to be taking. Because we do know without question uh, that nutritional supplementation will help. And then the third thing that I would recommend that they do is see a qualified low vision eye specialist. Someone who specializes in glasses that can make a huge difference. For example, this is a pair of telescopic lenses. Uh, many of the viewers may say, well, wow, that looks like the glasses that my dentist uses when he works on my mouth or the glasses that a cardiologist or cardiothoracic surgeon might use. Right. Well, we take the same technology. We can actually put the patient's prescription into the lens, yes. add magnification for the distance that's appropriate for them. Right. For example, this pair is designed for driving so that a patient can see road signs and traffic signals. Wow. Um, if a patient wanted to read, we'd take the lens and put it in the bottom, and it would work like a bifocal. And so the bottom line is, Brian, we want patients to understand that there's hope. Uh, if they're not happy with the opinion they're getting from their doctor, it's right. always good uh, to see someone else for a second opinion. So my last question, then, how can someone get a hold of you if they'd like to get more information on what you do? The easiest way is to go to our website. It's DrEdwardPaul.com, and uh, they can find all the information there to contact us, be put on our mailing list, and we'll be glad to communicate with them and even offer a free telephone consultation to discuss their particular case. Wonderful. DrEdwardPaul.com. And the message is that no matter what you hear, you never give up hope and never keep, give up reaching out for more information. There is life after vision loss. Thank you so much, Dr. Paul. That was Thank wonderful. Thank you, Brian. It's a pleasure.